Hi everyone, I'm Nick. So I wanted to show you some of the items from my January little block bag. And I've been chat in chat a lot recently, and uh, people have been asking about the R and M sequin too. So I'm going to show you that because I absolutely love it. So I'm going to get to that a little bit later. Um, so excuse how I look. I just got off of work in the ER, which is really overcrowded. I just wanted to show everybody um, some of the items that are still around, still a little bit popular. So I'm going to start with some of the jewelry items that I don't know if there's that many on the site. The one is the lace bangle. So I really like this on the website because I like the idea that there was real lace inside of it. But um, it's a really thick acrylic, if you can kind of see that. I don't necessarily like that. So it, it fits on, but uh, the giant acrylic bangles aren't necessarily my thing. But if you like it, it looks nice. It's black lace, and it has gold detailing on it. So it's nice. It's pretty. I'll keep it or maybe give it away. We'll see. That was one of the items. The other one was the uh, the crystal beaded bar bracelet. And it's interesting because on the website it says it's yellow. And it's actually a cognac color. It actually says on the uh, little receipt that it's cognac. So be aware of that, that it's sort of like a dark orangey brown, but truly is a cognac kind of color. And also, I wear, I have, I think I have pretty normal sized wrists, and I wear it on the absolute smallest setting, and it's still a little bit big. So if you have really small wrists, this might not be for you. But if you have normal size or even large, this is beautiful, perfect. I love how delicate and dainty it is. I don't want to put it on, it takes a little bit, but yeah, that's how it looks. So it's really, really pretty. I really like this. I think I did see some on the site today, so you can still pick these up. I'm wearing the Flea Market Girl Godzilla necklace. Um, this is my first Flea Market Girl item, and I was a little bit hesitant just because I know it's brass or copper with how long it would last. And um, yeah, I mean, I like it. Even if it's just for a few weeks, I really enjoy dinosaurs so <laughs> I thought that was a fun little addition and I also received this necklace I think it was I forget I think it's by Zad the Beat It necklace and it is really heavyweight and nice quality it has silver gold and white seed beads on it and it's very adjustable you can lay pretty much anywhere you want I'll put it on So this is on the loosest setting. So I think it's really pretty, um, just both to make outfits more fancy and also to just wear with casual outfits. So I don't know if there's any less le left of this either, but I definitely recommend picking this up and I'm very, very glad I got this. It's a very beautiful necklace. So some of the small items, I got the Steve Madden PDA and taupe. Um, this is the studded one. And I never, I never knew this when I saw it, um, so this is the inside. It doesn't have the the insert that the non-studded kind has. And it also has a pocket at the top here, which the with the non-studded doesn't have either. So that was a little bit of uh, differences with the studded. I know they're getting returned because people can't fit their phones with cases in there. I have a Samsung Galaxy S2, and it fits in here without a cover. I don't use a cover on mine, so my phone fits in here perfectly. I also received the Deluxe Aurora Wallet. So here it is. This is in the white color. It's uh, silver and it has sort of that, um, almost that oil finish, where it's multicolored, the pinks and the greens. I don't know if you can see that shimmer. So there's two pockets on either side. And then a center compartment, which opens up. You can see it opens up there and expands. So this is really more of a change purse or like just to throw a credit card or ID card um, in your bags. I haven't used this yet. I'm saving this for when I don't use a PDA or um, you know, I have a really, really small clutch or something. I received the lemon stirrup socks. So here's the stirrups. And these, this is in the ruby color and it's really more of a mauve purple. So if I really love mauve for winter. So if you like mauve, there's those. They're nice. I received, I absolutely love this, the Steve Madden Studded um, Clutch. I love yellow. Um, it has gold hardware on it. I think it's a really nice quality. I mean, I got this when it was a sale item, 
and they were, you know, trading for dirt cheap. I'm so, so happy I kept this. So the stud is on the front, plain on the back. On the back. It opens up. You unzipper, and it is a giant compartment. So, there's the compartment. And it does have the same thing as all bags do, the two pockets plus the zipper compartment. So, they still have blue ones and black ones on the website, uh, so I actually am considering getting a second color. I love yellow, it's probably one of my favorite one to use, but kind of want some other colors too. I received the BCB Generation 2. This is the, um, the one that has the suede finish, and I got it in orange, and it's humongous. I really like it. It does have a, I mean, a suede, it feels it still a little bit of a sheen to it, so I thought that was really nice. Decent straps. It does zipper close on the top, so I thought that was really nice. Not all totes zipper close, so that's a nice addition. Good zipper. The inside's all black, and it has the two compartments plus the zippered pocket. Um, and it's, yeah, really big. So I plan on using this to um, bring my supplies to the pool or to the beach or, um, you know, sort of as a summer tote. So I was thinking ahead when I got this. I don't normally use the orange. It used to be my favorite color in seventh grade, so I figured I'd give it a shot again. And now here's the R&M tote. Let me see how much time. Six minutes. All right. So here's the sequin tote. You can see it looks rose gold so it says copper on the website i think it looks like right between copper and rose gold that just really really pretty color the sequins are so 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 nice um so you can tell that they're really well made i've been using this for a couple weeks now every single day throwing it on the floor of the er throwing it on the floor of the classroom and there's no missing sequins there's it's not beat up at all so here it is it has nice chain detailing you can see that it has black it does have a small r and m embellishment then it has it actually has three compartments inside it has this two same pockets that they all do i can show you they have those two pockets but it also has a pocket here and then it has a zipper compartment and the inside's canvas a really thick canvas and underneath the sequins, if you spread them apart, it's actually like a satin material. So there's satin canvas, really nice sequins on it. Um, and I think this is a perfect tote to like dress up in a casual outfit, like when wearing just sweater and jeans. Or um, you know, I I like wearing totes a lot, and I feel like this is a way to make things a little bit more fancy and fun without going over the top that some of the purses can do. Um, so I love the rose gold. I'm also considering the black. The um, gray one I didn't like as much just because the the sequins have two different colors um, on one side compared to the other. I don't necessarily like that look of the dual, the dual color to the sequins. And then I also received this guy, the Kaylee Satchel. Um, I kind of ended up with this accidentally, and um, I put out a few trades, and then I kind of my bag just ended with it, and I was happy with it. And I really like the quilting on it. Love the studs on the side studs all the way down behind so studs all the way around studs on the top my zipper works perfectly I know some of them have zipper problems mine perfect zipper and it has a nice big inside compartment with two com two compartments plus a zippered all black inside and out um, so I thought that was really nice I haven't used it yet it does have a uh, silver hardware on it. So I got a lot of studs. Um, so I did receive a whole bunch of other little things, but um, they've been shown in so many videos I'm not even going to bother. So I currently have a bag open for February and I'll be excited to show you what I get next time. Happy trading.